Okay, so here we are back with our clinic scenario. And I wanted to throw in this bonus feature about the if function. Because if you're like most of the hardworking people I know, the more you do, the more they expect you to do. And in this scenario, that's exactly what's happening. Dr. Smith is our hardest worker, and we're still throwing more patients on Dr. Smith. Professor Plum is there as well, and, you know, pumping up and getting extra people. So let's put a cap on how many patients these folks will see, okay? Even if we have our growth percent, we may decide that we need to hire another practitioner. If you come down on the worksheet that you have access to, and this little grayed out area, I am going to just fill it in with blue, and then you can see I have some text here, and I even have a formula here, a function here, ready for you to look at. And this is called the if function, okay? And so this is saying, if the provider sees more than 100 patients, their workload won't increase. So, and you're saying, oh my goodness, this looks so complicated. But it's really not so complicated. If we come back to our formula that we wrote just a moment ago, it said take the value times the absolute value and add it back to its original uh, value. Okay, great. So now this if function says, look at the original value. If it's more than 100, which is our cap, then return the original value. Otherwise, take the original value, multiply it by our percentage increase, and add back in the original value. So all of this is just review. You've already done that. You just need to know about this first part. So let me show you how that's done. It's not nearly as hard as you think. Okay, so I'm just going to click here so we can start this over again, and I'm going to type the equal sign and I'm going to type in if and there are three if functions that come up but I just want the standard if function and you'll get these breadcrumbs and some people really like them but I am kind of old school I confess I've been teaching people for 15 years and I just like the function window so I'm going to come up here and click the FX function window and this is what appears. And you're like, that's better? It really is, okay? Because it breaks it down for you. So the first thing is, give me a logical test. So if the number of patients seen this year is greater than 100 was our cap, if that's true, then what do I do? If it's greater than 100, just return that same value. They don't get an increase. If it's false, that means they have to have the value times the percentage increase. And we're going to make that an absolute value. Let me just make that an absolute value there. Okay. And we'll close that off and then add in the original value. Okay, so you're going to see the return is 120. It's always nice when you have these function argument windows open to take a look at what's being returned, and that's great. Okay, so we're going to click OK. And now remember, our function or our formula is relative. So if I set it up based on this number right here, and I copy this down, it's going to look at the other providers. It doesn't have to be exactly next to the data. It can be on a different worksheet. It can even be in a different workbook. So we can see that we at the same values as the sample over here. Okay, but what if it wasn't 100 patients? Okay, let's say it's a different number so that I can prove to you that there's nothing tricky going on. Uh, let's say that we're going to have uh, Dr. Smith get no more patients, but Doc Professor Plum will more than 102, but less than 120. So let's come back into our formula. And so a number more than 102, but less than 120 would be, let's do 110. Okay, so this is still true for Dr. Smith, but now we would expect to see the number of patients seen by Professor Plum to increase. 
and you can see we're dealing with not whole people again and we'll get rid of the decimals and that's all there is to it so I hope that this bonus session um, on using the if function to set a cap uh, is really helpful for you thanks a lot